Wah ha 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 ha. With this new creation, I will have infinite cobblestone. <laughs> Hello guys and what's up? Welcome back to another video by Mr. Seven Games. How's it going? Uh today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make something really cool that I've been working on. Uh I actually made it quite a while ago for a survival world that had a bunch of command blocks and stuff in it, and I thought this would be a cool video. So basically what it is is you know those uh in that mod, those mining turtles, where every time you place the turtle down any block next to it will automatically be destroyed or a block in a certain orientation from it will be destroyed well I created those in vanilla Minecraft and they are uh, pretty swag so let's get into uh, how they work okay so started off this is what summons the structure right here this is what makes it be this alright now this one right here this command block is what tests when I put down this silverfish spawner right there, all right? And it tests for that, and when it finds that, then it'll activate this chain of commands, all right? And uh, this one I have, uh, just make sure you have all these the same. Um, and this one right here is summons the uh, uh, armor stand, and it'll be invisible and have that custom name. And then this one, kills that silverfish that was spawned after this permanent placeholder is spawned in. This one right here, actually uh, this one isn't invisible, the armor stand, but you can always make it invisible. Um, perfect rain. Uh, then these two actually summon in the uh, lamp and then the uh, sl slab. So then you have this structure, right? But it doesn't do anything yet. To make it do anything, you have to go over here and uh, have these. Now the first one is always going to be active and these are going to be in a chain. You could have them all be active, but I just did it this way. Um, so what it does is each of these are the same, just this part is different on all of them. So it'll execute at the armor stand right here. Uh, it'll execute and set the block there to air. It'll set the block relative to it in this spot to air. But the thing that makes it drop the block instead of just setting it to air is this right here. It says zero space destroy. And that makes it so instead of it just like in, like in creative mode where it just get rid of the block, it'll actually drop it. And this does this to any block in Minecraft. Uh, I haven't tested it on spawners, but it does it to... Um, Command blocks and uh, bedrock and just all the mo all the blocks. So uh, I don't know. This thing's really cool. Uh, and then to get rid of it, you go over here, and this is an always active right here. And what it does is it will set the block to air uh, on the mine, and then it will execute at the mine and set the block above it to air. So that gets rid of the two blocks. And then at the same time, it'll kill the mine entity, so that way it can't resummon the blocks all the time as it does in here. Because here, it'll constantly be summoning these blocks, so you can't just destroy it by doing that and make have just the armor stand left behind. So you get rid of it, you activate this, and you could have a system where you uh, click a map or something, it changes the item in your inventory, you have something that tests for that and then activates this chain. However you want to get rid of them is entirely up to you. Uh, if you look at my sticky bomb, you could, uh, my sticky bomb video, you could have a system like that to get rid of it. Uh, it's, it's up to you. Uh, but I have noticed a fun thing to do with this. Um, if you put two of them next to each other, and this is kind of a bug, but it's fun to mess around with. Um, you have all this stuff constantly summoning them in, and they can break. So if you put two of them next to each other, it does that, and it uh, it'll it'll lag your world. I've had like a crap ton of them open, 
So uh, I, I don't recommend doing that, but uh, if you want to crash someone's world, you can always uh, hook one of these up, or just uh, there's many ways. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it. It took me a while to record it just because there's been a bunch of stuff. School just got out, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos over the summer. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Leave in the comments what you thought of this video, and if you have any uh, ideas for redstone creations, just always feel free to leave them in the comments. Anyway, goodbye.